rip off prices for car parking. The rip off prices at Manchester Airport. They're likely to kill you with car parking. Now somebody's likely to flatten you with the cars if you're not careful. Of all the places I could have ended up, I've ended up at or in a car park, which is a super mega maze of people that have been travelling for miles and miles and thousands of miles over the seas and over the hills and over the oceans and not having the food that they wanted on these things called aeroplanes so welcome to terminal 2 in Manchester airport where a cup of tea will cost you a fiver and the flight has arrived from uh, Istanbul Sabiha is it Gotchen? Gotchen. Sabiha got Istanbul, Sabiha Gotchen Airport. Uh, let's see if we can go and find the passenger. And this is Terminal 2, Manchester Airport International Arrivals. And your flight arrived at 12.50. And whilst you're waiting, you can have your meal at Pete Manga. Or if you want to say it properly, Pete Manger, because it's French. Assalamu alaikum marhaba, welcome to the United Kingdom. Pakhair Rally in England. Or Zilekia Gurzum Ragurzum Vilta. And this is exit 4. And these are in the building site, Jurli. Or Jurli Tinada. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manchester Airport. We are transforming. Now, Kachala Pokhtorazi transforming Chidanada. Translate ke ing English ta yang English na pochto ta should I say? Like literally, thank you for your patience. Look, if you're a little bit like crackers like me and you walk around air airports looking for places, and you get lost, well, this is Manchester Airport, okay, and this is floor number two. I don't do not know why I keep saying okay. So this is the Etihad check-in, and obviously people do not like Etihad anymore because there's no one here. So I asked I asked somebody for directions for the the prayer room which used to be downstairs so this this was uh, the directions so what I want you to do is come upstairs which was here and then when you see the blue things okay can you see any blue things so he says when you see the blue things okay that's where the masjid is and what he actually meant was, what he actually meant to say was when you go up the escalators you will come to the new part of the airport and when you see a c d and g which is this turn left so when you then turn left you go in this direction and these blue things that he was talking about are actually these these are these blue things that he was talking about and when you get to the blue things you will find the prayer room facilities that are available for departing passengers inside you will find the prayer mats and the Qurans and the other holy books too you will have a seating area and mashallah, this is the prayer area. <laughs> so if you want to pray in the masjid and you're in terminal 2 and you're in the departure area, then you come upstairs initially. And if you come near zone A to C, you will see the multi-faith room, which is in the extreme corner, the left-hand side of the picture as you see it. Just on the left-hand side of the Manchester Airport departures area. So you have to be fairly crackers like me. So I have a question for you. Aha, that was a pause, not a question. How many of you like traveling? And how many of you hate the thought of traveling? The thought of traveling. Because thoughts are interesting things. They have to come from somewhere. They have to manifest from somewhere. And they're often manifested from our experiences of growing up, of being around adults, being around other people, being around teachers, being around friends, being in society, watching the crappy stuff on TV and listening to crappy stuff as well. No, I'm just joking. We don't always listen to all of the things. We're often positive because our thoughts will lead to how we feel. And if we feel great about something, then what you'll find is we have the cousins of feeling great, which are often like being happy and being patient and being balanced and being able to listen to what others are saying and being able to reply to what they're actually saying. Because sometimes we think 
we can reply to someone because we think they said something we do not actually listen so when you listen with your eyes and you listen with your ears and you listen with your heart and you listen with your mind then you can communicate in a very powerful way because now you are actively listening because look if your hand doesn't fit no that's not what it says it says if your hand luggage not does not fit in please check it in see so if you know where in is then you can check it in I'll show you that again see check it in because you can please check your hand luggage so you can check it yourself it doesn't mean that they will be happy with it but you can still check it and in the same way you want to check your thoughts make sure you check them before you let them in make sure you check them and there goes my passenger from Karachi right in the middle with a little backpack and he's looking for me so I better run because you can check in and then drop your bags because it says check in and bag drop and there's the airport departure lounge again so if you're waking up in the morning pray if you're going traveling pray if you're in an airplane pray if you're going to Makkah and Medina pray before you want something pray and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the master and owner of the universe will complete your needs so wherever you are in the world pray have a wonderful blessed day